Do you see this skin? Chicken broccoli, me, baby. Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Simone Nicole here. Back at it again with yet another video and in today's video we are going to be doing an updated skincare routine. In this video I'm going to show you guys how I corrected my skin from looking the way that it looked months ago versus how it looks now. I'm going to be giving you guys the tips and the tricks that I use for my sensitive but relatively normal skin. So if you would like to see how I keep my skin good and stable and glowing and beautiful and perfect and the best thing that ever happened to anybody, then please keep watching. Okay, so right now I obviously have on a good amount of makeup. I'm gonna talk about the products that I use, but I'm also gonna show y'all products that I don't use like on a nightly basis, but definitely contribute to clearing up my skin and not only clearing up my skin, but keeping my breakouts to a bare minimum. There are also things that I like to address that I don't feel like enough people address in their skincare routines. Also, um, another thing, nothing in this video is sponsored. I bought almost all of these products with my own money. And not to say that, you know, creators that are sponsored are lying, it's not that. There's just a certain extra level of like, mm-hmm, right, when the video is not sponsored. So I'm going to take off this first layer of makeup and I'm just gonna talk through it and tell you guys a couple more skincare tips. This is my DHC Deep Cleansing Oil. This is my favorite oil cleanser I've ever used or just my favorite first step for removing makeup. I do two pumps. I get it worked in because it's important that you use this on dry skin as opposed to it being wet because as soon as you wet it, it's going to get milky. One of the first things I want to address is the things that are not topical for your skincare. One, I have good skin genetically. The products that I'm gonna tell you guys about have been extremely helpful, but my good genes do attribute a lot to my skin. However, I am not immune to a breakout here or there, and that goes into my next point of like, you need to listen to your skin, you need to listen to your body. I think that I don't struggle with breakouts too because I already don't consume a lot of dairy. I don't consume any, I don't consume anything besides water and wine. Literally, like I'm always drinking water. I'm always like just trying to, you know, take care of my skin and make sure that she's good. You feel me? Look at my hands, girl. Okay, let me rinse off my hands real quick and then I'm gonna show you guys a little hack. When you're washing your face and you have the water running down your arms, the way to avoid that is by putting scrunchies around your arms and companies make like little wrist towels. Don't buy the wrist towels. Just put your little scrunchies on and call it a day. The next thing I'm gonna say is that you need to get a makeup removing towel. They do have the makeup erasers. Those things are pretty expensive. I think I got a two pack of these from like Marshalls or something like that for like six bucks. I recommend getting cheaper ones because as you can see, this is disgusting and I just got this out of the dryer, you know, makeup be makeup in. So I'm gonna wet this and then I'm gonna wipe off all of my makeup, but that is just our first cleanse. Okay, so got the first layer of my makeup removed. Now we're gonna go in with my first cleanser cleanser. We are going to be going in with the Philosophy One Step Facial Cleanser. I've been using this cleanser since I'm not even kidding you, I was like 16 years old. Let me wet my hands a little bit. I'm so sorry if this audio, I'm trying so hard not to move so that I'm not disrupting the audio and I actually might just clip my audio up. So if the audio levels change from here on out, I'm sorry, but I feel like I'll get better audio if I put this on something more stable. Okay, LOL. I wish I could see how my audio is set up right now, but whatever. And I'm going to take a bit of this cleanser. I really like this cleanser as a second step makeup remover. Oh, I feel so much more free now that my mic isn't on me because I don't think it actually helps me personally and my skin with avoiding like breakouts and like balancing my skin and all of that. The big B, removing my makeup, like I travel with that one. And if I don't have like a first step oil cleanse, I will use the philosophy to get off all my makeup and it does a pretty good job at it. So I'm trying to play this philosophy and I am avoiding my eye area because I did just do my lashes. If you would like to see how I do my lashes, that video is on my TikTok. So follow me on TikTok. So I'm gonna rinse my face, be right back. This is also a little trick that I wanna show you guys. And it is this little spongy thing. I don't use it to 
wash my face but i do use it to get really close to my lash extensions and i'm gonna go in with a cotton swab and get really close eventually just not in this very second so also a big tip for my girlies that do your edges wear wigs anything like that get in your hairline i get pimples all along here when i don't because all that gel all that got to be scrub that hairline clean baby okay so now let's go in with our official cleanser. I'm gonna grab that out of my shower. Okay, so I'm actually grabbing a couple things out of my shower. One is my everyday cleanser, which is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Cleansing Gel. I love, love, love this stuff. And then I also grabbed my daily microfoliant by Dermalogica. This was sent to me, but it was sent to me a while ago and I still have so much left let me wash my face and tell y'all about these different steps and why they are important so if you're like simone this is so extra why are you washing your face this many times if i wasn't wearing makeup you wouldn't have seen the first cleanse if i wasn't wearing makeup then i just would have washed my face in the shower with this neutrogena cleanser and kept it pushing but since i have on makeup i have to take extra care to get it off my face so i can make sure i'm going to bed with a nice clean face that's number one number two i've been investing into my skincare for years i've been in the beauty space for years i worked at ulta for five years i feel like sometimes we get sucked into the overconsumption culture and we don't really take the time to figure out like what works for us what doesn't work for us and you know what maybe my routine take some parts leave some parts that's okay friend but it is important to listen to your skin and figure out what really works for you also sorry that the lighting keeps changing honestly if i'm in this bathroom oh my god so stressful i had to educate myself on skincare not just because i had to sell it but also because i just i wanted to know what was necessary and what was not so i suggest that you find skincare influencers that you really trust and that explain things to you in a way that you can understand and figure out the best way to invest your money in your skincare routine so now i'm gonna rinse all this off and then i'm gonna do my scrub actually i'm not gonna use this because i'm gonna go to the gym tomorrow morning and i'm gonna get really sweaty and i like to use this after i go to the gym because all the sweat in my pores but that is definitely a fan favorite it is 100 percent worth the hype and to save some money just get the travel size and the travel size will last you for i'm not even kidding you probably over a year and a half <sighs> love that stuff okay so this next hack is going to be for my lash extension slash diy lash girlies we're gonna clean our lashes per okay we don't do dirty lashes so we're gonna take some micellar water and we're going to rub them right along that lash line and kind of like twirl it and comb it through because mine are diy i can't be as rough on them like i could like my regular lash extensions and i'm do the same thing with the other eye what i will say also made a difference in my skincare routine was that i was consistent period literally if you have an issue with anything in life you could probably solve it with consistency even on the days where i am drunk out of my mind or i'm so tired i've had the longest day i am never falling asleep in my makeup period i'm not doing it and i also have more of a stake in keeping my skin clear because i'm online for a living so the way that i look in my skin is pretty important we are all cleansed we are all good the next step that we're going to do is toner i have made content around skincare before on my channel and i could only educate on what i knew right so i used to feel like a toner was something that like rebalanced the ph of the skin and blah 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 and picked up any extra makeup that your cleanser didn't get off but in reality that's not what a toner job is it is a toner's job to rebalance the ph in your skin i wasn't completely wrong on that but it is not a toner's job to pick up the stuff that your cleanser didn't get that means that your cleanser isn't good enough so right now i'm using the fenty fat water toner i just got this maybe like two or so months ago and i really like it it's very thick and emollient and i really love that and i just take it on my hands i don't take it on a cotton round anymore because i just feel like i don't need to i just Press it onto the skin and take it down the neck. Do we see the little glow? It's such a good product. They also have it in the mini if you wanna try it. I think they have a mini like the cleanser, the toner, all of that. Even though I'm not gonna do any treatments today, I'll show you guys two treatments that I feel like really made a 
who baby i feel like they really i could tell the difference one of them is the dr dennis gross alpha beta universal daily peels i only buy them in this size because frankly i'm not spending 60 dollars on the whole pack i would rather just spend 20 dollars every once in a while and i feel like my skin needs a little pick me up these are really good but if your skin is super sensitive beware because this is a chemical exfoliant your skin is always turning over cells and turning over new layers of skin right and in theory they should come off like when you lay down on the pillow they kind of flick off you know when you go about your day exfoliating helps to speed up that process and helps to reveal that new layer up underneath your skin so it really helps with hyperpigmentation for me i do not pick ever at pimples because just because a pimple popped in my face i'm scarred so i don't pick ever and i always exfoliate besides the microfoliant i prefer chemical exfoliants so that's one product that i love the next one is the verse doctor's visit instant resurfacing mask and this is 100 percent worth the hype i can really feel a difference when i use it it feels like a skin reset it does have ahas in it so it does have an exfoliating property but it is a mask as opposed to this one that is a treatment that you leave on so wanted to mention those i'm gonna put on eye cream i don't especially love this eye cream because i don't think it's like the best thing i've ever used i got from target it was on sale i needed eye cream at the time i like eye cream i know people say like just use your face moisturizer and just bring it underneath your eye no i won't do that <laughs> I like eye cream. So I'll put a couple down in the description box that I used to use. My favorite of all time is probably the Clinique. It's in the orange packaging. I can't remember what it is. I just remember my eyes just feeling so moisturized and like awake. I have eczema all over my body, but I will sometimes get like these scaly patches on my eyelids. So I have a dermatologically prescribed ointment that is safe to put on my eye area. So I just use this just to be preventative, especially when I'm wearing lash extensions. Now let's talk about something that's new to my collection, which is this Peach and Lily Power Cocktail Lactate Acid Repair Serum. This is new to my collection because I actually got it during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. I take two pumps of this. I'm gonna be frank with y'all. I don't know if it's a placebo. I feel like this is gonna be one of those things where I'm like, I really see a difference in my skin. The way it makes my skin feel when I put it on. Oh my gosh. Can y'all see her? And then the lactic acid, again, it's another exfoliator. So it's gonna help with the cell turnoff. It's gonna help with hyperpigmentation. Anything that has AHAs or chemical exfoliants is going to help with hyperpigmentation. That is something that I struggle with because like I said, I get one pimple, I'm scarring. The next two products I'm about to talk about, these are the ones I've been using consistently for months, and these are the ones y'all need to tap in for. Okay, it's worth the hype. The Faded Topicals Serum. This was the girl. This was the girl that really did it. I will continue to buy her for forever. The only downside to this is that I hate the smell. And when you first buy this, the packaging is very irritating because of the aluminum aspect of it. I'm assuming that that's probably better for the environment, but ugh, it like is always squirting out and like there's always buildup and blah, blah, blah. The smell of it, because I don't think that there's any fragrance in this and companies usually add fragrance to cover up the smell of the ingredients in the product. They didn't do that. And to me, it smells like chicken broth. <laughs> but I get over it. Do you see this skin? Chicken broth me, baby. Okay. There's a lot of things that I believe that this boasts. It's definitely brightening and clearing. I've had this for probably like four months and I'm nowhere near running out. If you get anything from this video, get this. Of course, like if you don't have like funds because this is a Sephora product, get the mini size. I think the mini size is like 16 bucks. Try it out, see how it works for you. And I cannot highly enough recommend this. This and this. I'm suspecting this combo changed my skin. I'm especially excited to talk about this one because this is from a small business. This is my friend, Sydney's company. I have known Sydney and been following her for years. I remember she first started making like soaps and like she was stepping into the skincare world. And now this girl 
has built an empire and I could not be more proud of her. She hand makes all of her products, every single last one of them. So she actually had me try this entire sea moss collection. This is hands down the favorite thing that she had me try. This one is a sea moss healing serum. It's for eczema, for dry skin, it hydrates, and it is antibacterial. I'm almost out. I think that this is one that she sold out of regularly. So I'm so sorry if in this moment she had sold out of it. I don't use it like a serum. I use it in conjunction with my serums because I don't think that this one necessarily treats as hardcore as the faded serum does. This one almost feels like an oil, but I started using it as a sealer for my skincare routine and I actually didn't like it. And I went back to using it like it was a serum as it claims it is a serum. And I'm like, okay, yes, she's a serum. She's a serum for sure because she was doing such a good job underneath everything. And also, the way that my makeup glides onto this. I won't do my makeup without this underneath my makeup. So every single day I'll see my makeup done. The Seamoss Serum is up under it. So that was me bragging on my friend. Also, I'm sorry, her brand name is Herbal City. I'm, I don't know if I ever said that. Link to her in the description box, go check her out. Small, black owned business, all products handmade. One of the hardest working women I know, shout out to you, Sid. The next thing that you're gonna do, if you're having any active breakouts, you could do like the sulfur treatments, like the ones where you take the Q-tip, you dip it all the way through, put it on the pimple, let it dry, blah, blah. I use the 10% benzyl peroxide gel. I think this is okay. It's a Target brand. I got it because Kyra Amanique was um, raving about it. I don't love it as much. What I do love, are my pimple patches. I will pop up the picture on the screen because I'm actually out right now, but those are the best product I've ever used. You put that little patch on, your pimple is gone, okay? I think the blue pack is literally invisible. So I'll walk around in them and it helps you to not pick. Highly recommend pimple patches. I will also have those linked in my description box. I like to be a glazed donut. So yes, we are still going. The second to last step, I'm going to use this Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. I have been using this product for years. It's really good. It's really solid, very simple. I've tried others. I even tried the, the Tatcha, what is it? The Water Sleeping Mask or something like that. I didn't care for it like everybody else loved it. I just put just a little bit and I tap it in again. And all of my products I always take down my neck, put it onto my chest because one, that's what the, what the dermatologist and the skincare girlies say to do, but also because I'm not wasting a drop of this stuff. I spent my good on money and I won't be wasting the, a good dack on drop. Now, the last thing that I am going to do, because again, we are sealing everything in, we're glazed donuts going to sleep, period. We also wash our pillowcases once a week, no negotiations. Your pillowcases harbor so much bacteria, bestie, please wash your pillow cases. This is the last thing that I use. This is the Ordinary 100% Squalene. I really like this oil. It's super lightweight. Squalene, I'm pretty sure is really good for you. you guessed it, hyperpigmentation. And if you guys hear me continuously repeating the theme of hyperpigmentation, hyperpigmentation, it's because I did the research. I figured out what products, what ingredients we're good for hyperpigmentation because that is my number one skincare concern. If your number one skincare concern is like acne, for instance, you need to seek out things with more salicylic acid. If you have issues with redness, you want to focus on products that can address that. You feel me? Like, don't just look at my routine and take it because you like my skin and you like the way my skin looks. If we don't have the same skincare concerns, then the stuff that I use may or may not work for you, friend. And then you go out to get these products. Get the trial size if it's available so that you're not wasting your money and keep your receipt because most places do accept returns. But don't get crazy using like 50% of the product and then trying to return. That's ghetto. So the last thing we're gonna do is lips. It's my favorite lip product and it's actually Aquaphor. I'm gonna take my Aquaphor and I'm put it on my lips. Oh no, actually, shoot, my Aquaphor is already on. Ugh, let me wipe my Aquaphor off because I do want to share all this product. I used to have really bad, cracked, peeling lips and I was trying to find a product that would help and I actually saw Jackie Ina talking about this one. This is the Soothing Lip Primer by Fresh. It is actually a chemical exfoliant for your lips. I feel like this truly made the biggest difference in my lips. And I also have the e.l.f. Brown Sugar Scrub 2 that's a physical exfoliant that I use in between this because I probably use this like once a week 
when I feel my lips getting dry. You can only get it online. It, at least around me, I've never been able to find it in a Sephora in store. So that one made a big difference for me. I don't suffer with like the cracked dryness that I was before. And then on top of that, I just put my Aquaphor. That is gonna be all for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me and hanging out with me this evening. I hope that you guys learned something. I hope that you guys are taking things away that you can actually use in your skincare routine. Thank you also for sticking with me, with me filming in this bathroom. Don't know how the audio is. I know that the video was going in and out. God bless my editor. Shout out to you, Claire, for figuring all this out. If you guys enjoyed this and learned something, please drop a comment down below. And if you have any suggestions for the Verities, for good skincare products to use, please suggest those down below as well. Make sure you're including your skin type so that we have that for reference. And let's just talk this gap like the girls too, you know? And that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And yet again, remember to keep positivity in your life because positivity breeds positivity and we have no time for negativity in 2022. I will see you guys super duper soon in my next video. Bye guys.